All right, guys, the project for today is an old Delta Rockwell Milwaukee. Yeah, I know, it has three names. Um, scroll saw, Homecraft scroll saw. So if you look here, the tag says Rockwell. <clears throat> Serial number is V, if you guys could see that, V3158. And it says Power Tool Division Rockwell Manufacturing Company, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Made in the United States of America. From everything I found online, uh, seems to be 1950s, roughly 1952. Uh, when I come around this side, it has a Delta Milwaukee Homecraft uh, tag on it. It's really not in bad shape at all. Um, looks like they built some sort of little wood top. Um, I found a lot of pictures online that show the motor being down on the bottom here. Um, and then the belt, I guess I guess the saw was offset a little to one side. And this pulley, or actually no, I'm sorry. The pulley has plenty of room to wiggle out. And they didn't even get the set screw on the flat here, as you could see. Well, the belt is shot anyway. Um, so I'm going to be looking to change that out. I'm not sure if this motor is original. Um, it says AC motor. <laughs> Thanks. Um, it's a 1 8 horsepower 1800 RPM and General Electric USA. Uh, mounted slightly crooked, but not too bad. Um, just kind of bolted down to the wood any old way. And the weird part is that this motor is slotted forwards and backwards. Um, so there's actually no way to adjust the belt tension, hence why it's kind of loose. But anyway, uh, I was told it works. It came with a whole bunch of machines that I bought at one time. I never tested it. I didn't really think I'd have much use for it. But I make these... Um, but they're bicycle brake brackets I make for someone. And every once in a while, you know, I guess I don't get the depth set right on the CNC table or whatever happens. But I'm left with a few parts like this. And I was thinking that the scroll saw might be perfect to uh, just pop in there and scroll around. And then I could sand down the edges and kind of, uh, you know, save these parts. But anyway... As of right now, I'm going to just squirt a little oil in this oil tube. Um, everything moves nice and free, as you can see. Um, the plug is missing on the end here. And I got a nice little on and off switch. On, off. I'll leave that off for now. All right, so you got the electric run to it. And the moment we've all been waiting for. Here goes nothing, guys. Wow, look at that. She runs. I have no idea how long she's been sitting, but doesn't sound too bad. All right, I'm gonna clean up the tabletop here. Maybe level it out a bit. As you can see, it's a little crooked. Oh, there's a cool little, uh, almost like a dial indicator, the green wheel under here. And you can see it's just slightly off, so it has an adjustment. I can turn it and then relock it down to get it level. And I'm going to see if I can film uh, me cutting out the parts. All right, guys, I got the table cleaned off, leveled as best I can. And I'm going to see if I could just scroll through this one area here to start.
I'm gonna shut it down. The problem I'm running into is that the guide here is set a little bit too low. So, looking at it, I think, there we go. Gotta loosen this on the side. It's a little hand knob here. And just raise the guide up a hair. Not that much. Right about there. And lock it down. Okay. And we'll switch. <laughs> works pretty good this is the blade that it came with i did order another package of blades that i think are going to work out much better um but as you can see i at least am getting the part freed up that was the whole point of me uh getting this table running today so i have to mess with this guide a little more um for some reason i could raise and lower this no problem but the bottom of this guide is not flat I might be able to, that might just be bent up too much. I'm going to raise this up, see if I can bend this foot down to be roughly flat. Right now it's at such an angle that when the part goes through, it's hitting the back. All right, I got the foot leveled out. I'm going to lower it back down. And set it roughly so it just touches, starts to touch the aluminum here. Lock that down.
That worked out great, guys. Woo, super excited. Put this in the grinder a little bit, clean up the sides, hit it with the wire wheel, and then put it in the parts tumbler. Uh, this part should be good to go. All right, so if anyone knows how this original belt is supposed to go, um, I looked online a little more, and this top, you could tell, you know, was added. This wood looks original under here, and it actually has some cutouts underneath, but they don't seem to, to line up with how the belt goes. Uh, it looks online, and I said this before, that this pulley is supposed to be moved out, bumped out a little bit, or maybe reversed. This hub is probably supposed to be on the inside. Bump the pulley out so it just clears the edge here, and the motor gets mounted down on the bottom. Um, it does look like I have four holes down there that might have been from an original motor. I'm not sure if this motor is original. I also found on eBay a small cover that definitely bolts on here. It has one screw right there, one screw hole, and the cover kind of bolts over and it allows the belt to go down. And it looks just like the ones that do that. The only things I'm missing, I think, are the original light. And of course, you know, I found them on eBay, but they're like a million dollars because everybody thinks they're literally going to sell all their parts for more than the whole entire thing is worth. <laughs> But um, yeah, and and that side cover. The side cover, I think there's a couple for like 20 bucks. So that's not that crazy. I might end up popping this wood off and trying to mount this back to the original piece and maybe putting that motor down there. Uh, the original motors, I found one that I think is original. They want like $150. So it's just getting insane. But if anyone could tell me, and I'll go back over it again. It's a V3158 uh serial number on here so if anyone knows for sure if the belt goes down i did see a few with the belt like this going sideways and i'll tell you the truth it's working great the way it is even the belt's holding up i'm just going to put this plug on like i said before and i might change the blades i'll probably use this one until it snaps but the other blades i got look like they'd really be more aggressive for the aluminum but other than that She's really working pretty good, guys. And like I said, let me know in the comments if anyone has one of these or knows anything about them. But it's definitely a cool little saw. Now I just have to find a place to set it up.